Jason Priest around the line from all Clemson on the uh, SI platform for Clemson Athletics. So we know that uh, about 15% of the games in college football have been canceled this year. We don't want to think about it, hear about it, but we do have 10 championship games played in college football this weekend. So there's a possibility one or two aren't going to be played. So we know Notre Dame with an undefeated regular season in the ACC and a head-to-head win against Clemson will win the championship if the game's canceled because obviously it can't be made up because the selection committee goes to work and makes its findings uh, revealed the next day on Sunday. All right, let's say we get them on the field, hopefully in Charlotte. Before we get to the breakdown of the game, is there a reasonable path to Clemson making the college football playoff with a loss? Uh, I don't think so. I think two losses, not two losses and no ACC championship. I think they're out of discussion. I mean, I don't even think it warrants a discussion, to be honest. You, you can't lose your two biggest games of the season, not win your conference and, and expect to get into the playoff. Who needs to step up in this game on the Clemson side in regards to uh, just just players that you think that are that are capable of giving you a little bit more or based on the matchup against Notre Dame might be needed because the Irish are so strong at those spots. I think in this game, the interior the offensive line's got to play better than they did last time. Hopefully having a couple of weeks off, you know, they're a little bit fresher. Last time they played, they were on the tail end of playing six games in a row without a break. And, and they're playing a ton of snaps because Clemson doesn't have a ton of depth on the offensive line. So they're playing all the snaps. So, Hopefully those guys have got fresh legs on them because they've got to play better this week than they did the first time. Clemson cannot average one yard per carry and expect to win this football game. I don't think they have to go out and rush for 200 200 yards or anything like that, but they've got to be more efficient. They've got to be able to at least establish a little bit of a running game, kind of open some other things up. And and I think the guy to watch for is Trevor Lawrence. You know, he's proven time and again that he can make plays with his legs. And I think he's going to be a big time factor in the running game this week. He 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 can be deceptive. He he can kill you in that zone read if you're not careful. What do you think the difference is between Ui Angalele in the running game and Trevor Lawrence? How much more of a plus is it to have Trevor back? Oh, I think it's a I think it's a big plus. Um, what what a lot of people didn't know, and I didn't even realize it at the time. I thought I thought he was over it, but um. DJ was dealing with a bad shoulder that he had hurt in, I think, the, maybe the Florida State game. Not Florida State. Um, Georgia Tech game earlier this year. He took he, he took a big shot in one of those games or when he run over somebody or something. And he'd been dealing with a bum shoulder. So coaches, they didn't they didn't want him running the ball that much. And as we saw, there was very little running by him in that football game. I, I think having Lawrence back makes a huge difference, especially in the running game because. You, you have to account for him because you because you know he can make plays with his legs, but also there, there's nothing Notre Dame can run out there that he has not seen before. There's there's no coverage they're going to use to trick him. Lawrence has been there; he's done that; he's seen it all. As good as DJ is, he's still a true freshman; he's still learning. Um, so so that's another area that Lawrence gives you an advantage. Got Jason Priester on the line from allclemson.com. It's uh, the Clemson Athletics site on SI. Between Dabo Sweeney, Ohio State, and the SEC, there are shots being fired back and forth. They're not real harsh, not real mean, but they're, they're slight comments about how many games are being played. So Dabo, of course, and a few other areas of the country going after Ohio State in particular, not by name. They don't bring up Ohio State, but the teams uh, should not be considered necessarily that have played six games to, to go into the college football playoff. The shot that came from Greg Sankey, the SEC commissioner against the ACC, was giving a, a week off to Notre Dame and Clemson before the ACC championship game to protect them. I thought that was a bit out of line considering their opponents and considering they both got a bye week. It wasn't like the conference was looking out for one of one team or the other to try to make sure that they had an advantage in the title game. Uh, but but Dabo, I, I don't necessarily know what his incentive to talk at this point is because his team's got to win. They make the playoff. They lose. They don't make the playoff. And so there's not going to be any kind of style points or consideration made uh, for Clemson, uh, it's a it's a win and in 
lose an out game for them. So there's no real comparison to be made. But uh, any thoughts about uh, the shots that are being fired across the country? Well, it, these guys know that if, if they ask Dabo something, he's going to answer it and he's going to tell them what he thinks. You know, he he's not – He's not out here just making statements about that. He, he's being asked about it, you know, and he's he gives honest answers. You know, I I, I give him credit for that. He, he he says what's on his mind, but um, yeah, I, I thought what Greg Sankey, I thought that the stuff Greg Sankey said was kind of a cheap shot too. You know, um, I didn't think that the ACC was trying to protect the two teams by not making them play. I mean, I, I thought it was a unusual circumstance. They they were not going to make Clemson go back down to Tallahassee again after already paying. I think they spent three hundred thousand dollars going down there the first time, only to be turned around. They weren't going to make them turn around and go back down there, and they weren't going to make Notre Dame play with Clemson being off. So I mean, it it was really the only logical thing to do. I mean, it, it's just to give them both the week off. Notre Dame would have been what a thirty point favorite over Wake Forest. I mean, although, you know, upsets happen. We, we saw it last weekend with Florida and LSU. Greg Sankey's probably wishing he'd give them the weekend off. But um, as far as um, the Ohio State stuff, you know, I, 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 it's, a, it's a difficult season, man. I, I get it. Playing, playing only six games, I, I don't think they should be disqualified because they've only played six games. I think it should be a factor, though. You know, if if they're being compared to another team, I mean, I think it definitely should be taken into consideration. Like like I just said, we just saw Florida take a massive upset. The LSU, nobody thought that was going to happen. The more games you play, the more the the the, the chances go up that you're going to take an upset, or, or either that, or even somebody get hurt. I mean, you just never know. If you're only only playing six games, you're going to be a lot fresher. I mean, but it's hard to blame them for that, though. That wasn't their decision. That was, that was out of their hands, above their heads. If it was up to those players and that coach staff, they'd have been playing in September with everybody else. Yeah, absolutely. I wholeheartedly agree. Don't have a whole lot to, to add to that because I think it's reasonable that you evaluate a team that's played six games differently. You don't eliminate them, but they have to do more work in those six games and show you more than a team that played nine or 10 games. They have to be more dominant. They got to be perfect. We're going to have a team in the college football playoff. Most likely, most likely that's going to have a loss. Maybe not. Uh, we might have four undefeated teams there. That's a possibility, but most likely we get a team in there or there are certainly teams out there that have the opportunity to make it with a loss but they've played nine, 10, 11 games, not six games. Uh, and so you make one of those, one of those of a factor as well. Makes sense to me. It's, it's a difficult year and we don't have no non-conference games to speak of to, to compare the conferences or the teams as well. Jason Priest around the line, talking Notre Dame, talking Clemson, uh, please join him and his coverage of Clemson football there on allclemson.com on SI. Jason, we always appreciate the conversation. You stopping by, have a, a good uh, National Signing Day. Enjoy the game uh, Saturday. All right, man. Appreciate it, Mark. Talk to you later. Thanks.